So welcome to the energy lesson review then. Now basically all we need to do in this particular lesson is to understand the difference between the two types of reaction that we see in science. So what we've got here then first of all are the definitions that we all need to know. So an exothermic reaction then is where we actually release energy from the reaction. Now that energy could be heat, could be light, could be sound, could be electricity. But there is energy actually being released as a result of that reaction. The endothermic reaction then is the opposite to that. So that's where we're actually absorbing or taking in energy for that reaction to take place. So the next thing we need to be able to do is identify whether we have an exothermic or endothermic reaction taking place during an experiment. Now, the one they're going to ask you about on your exam paper is going to be measurable because it's going to have a change in temperature. So if we're talking about an exothermic reaction, then that will be identified by a rise in temperature. If we're looking at an endothermic reaction, then that will be a decrease in the temperature. Now what we need to do is understand basically what's happening in terms of chemical bonds. Now between every atom within a molecule we have these things called bonds which link them together. Now if we're going to break a bond, what we have there is something that requires energy being put in. So that means that our bond breaking is an endothermic reaction. So we've got to put energy into it to break those bonds between the atoms. If, however, we think about making new bonds, then that is an exothermic reaction, which means that we're going to be releasing energy as those new bonds between the atoms are formed. The last thing we then need to understand is overall what makes that reaction endothermic or exothermic. And the simple answer is it comes down to a difference between the energy we need to take in to break the bonds and the energy that we then release as new bonds are actually formed. So if we end up with a situation where the energy we're taking in to break the bonds is lower than the energy that we give out as new bonds are made, then that's an exothermic reaction. Because what we're doing there is less energy is being taken in than is being given out. If, however, we have an endothermic reaction, then what we're seeing there is we need a much greater amount of energy to be taken into our reactant mixture to break those original bonds than we're actually going to be releasing when those new bonds are made. So it's all purely down to the difference between the energy taken in to break the bonds and the energy given out as new bonds are made.